already loving what's happening here, even though these swatches, the first two sets were slightly different. I do like the kind of the change of um, the texture here and the colors, they're just so delicious. They're like luminous, but they have this beautiful tone to them. They're not kitschy, they're not, you know, screaming and sort of all over the place with, in terms of vibrancy, they're not clashing. So next color is Strawberry Velvet and we will mix this color twice. We will start with Cobalt Teal. So I'm expecting some lovely neutral mixes here. Generally you get to a grey. A certain red and a certain blue can mix a grey. So let's see. Now that's very very pretty and it may need a little bit more water. That's gorgeous. Now we have a grey. Grey that I'm expecting to pigment separate and be really interesting. It won't be your boring type of a grey. I mean, look at the dish. Cobalt teal magic is happening. So next mix, a bit more. Oh, beautiful, look at that. How gorgeous is this? So now we have a kind of like a turquoisey toned gray. That's very pretty. Gorgeous. And you can see the cobalt turquoise itself pigment separates into green and blue, which is quite unique, I believe. I can't think of any other brand who has this creation, so I'm quite proud of myself, dare I say it. And then we have slightly more turquoise -ier mix right here. I think I'll leave it at that. Maybe build it up slightly more. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. This is why it was so important for me to create a red that will be very unique because it's the key of this palette. If you take that red out, the strawberry velvet, it just won't be the same situation. It gives you that most incredible pigment separation and color play in the mixes. Now let's see what happens if we add Green Gold Deep to Strawberry Velvet. So I'll probably go back in with the strawberry velvet just to have more variation in the color because otherwise we would get to this side too fast so that's a good mix now touch more of the green gold deep last one okay so the last version we have left is to do cobble teal with green gold deep 
So let's start with cobalt teal again. So we have cobalt teal here. I'm going to swatch it first. Oh, let me move the tray and everything. There we go. So we've got cobalt teal here. And finally, green gold deep. That should give us loads of greens. So I'm going to start with this color and that probably was quite a lot of it. So I'm going to go into here first. I have added more of the cobalt teal because it just went too quickly into this green. So I'm hoping to just add one more color like that. And now look at that again, beautiful bit more of the green gold deep. Now these are the greens that I enjoy. They're juicy, but they're not too acidic. And of course there will be a lot of pigment separation. And final one. Oh, I love this green. This is like straight up green gold, but like a juicy version. All right, what a lovely and colorful color palette. So the color palette is super, super vibrant and gorgeous, but like I said before, it's an interesting balance between having luminous and vibrant colors without having them kind of look a bit childish if that makes sense. So these are mostly two pigment colors. So these two are two pigment, well in fact these two and this one are two pigment colors and these two are three pigment colors. Oftentimes when you have a watercolor that has many colors put in there, they tend to get muddy very quickly, but not with this set. I was quite clever with the way I put the pigments together, which means it is nearly impossible to get some not very nice looking muddy colors. So the neutrals that you can get this is, by the way, a color wheel that I have swatched all five colors, putting them together. And look at the beautiful colors you can get. It's perfect lighting for me now to show you. So there is none of that muddy mess type of a color. It just is kind of impossible to mix it with this set. And so the way I have designed it is so that the colors really coordinate with each other in such a interesting way that we get loads of pigment separation and loads of granulations and different particles. Some colors have larger granulating particles, others are uh, a bit more finer. And so when it all comes together in mixes, it becomes very, very beautiful. So I'm going to give you a close up. So let's look at these colors up close. So here we have Chartreuse and Quinacridon Gold Deep. Hopefully you can see the beautiful granulation there. Then we have Chartreuse and Strawberry Velvet. Again, some really interesting textural effects from the granulation and pigment separation. Then of course, very bright color mix right here with the chartreuse and cobalt teal. Again, look at those beautiful 
pigment separations right there, just mesmerizing. Then we have chartreuse and green gold deep. Again, green gold deep has a lovely granulation to it. Not much color variation between them because they both you know, have a lot of yellow and a lot of green in them. So that's that. Then we have Quinacridone Gold Deep and Strawberry Velvet. So I packed these on quite strong and you can't really see granulation in here. Didn't have enough water like here I had a lot of water. But hopefully you can see the beautiful tone and you can play around with the water amount. Wherever I added a lot more water, you can see Strawberry Velvet come through quite nicely, beautifully. And then we have Quinacridone Gold Deep and Cobble Teal. Very interesting mixes here. So the large particles from my Quinacridone Gold Deep and then pigment separation from the Cobble Teal just creates something quite unique and then we have quinacridone gold deep with green gold deep again lovely granulation here are some really interesting mixes strawberry velvet and cobalt teal some gorgeous neutral grays but very again very unique very beautiful and remember you can play with the strength of the color by adding more pigment to it and you could go with something that's quite strong like that or quite watered out and then we have strawberry velvet and green gold deep i love this color palette here it's quite quite interesting sits well together and then of course these are still drying but you can see beauty happening cobalt teal and green gold deep so that's that if i had to pick my favorite mixes in terms of interest i would say that these two and this one so we've got some really lovely variety here and here as well love the mixes up here but i think personally i prefer this mix to this trip so this may be slightly too bright for me whereas i find the green gold deep kind of mutes it down slightly and most importantly we get this gorgeous green very close to the green gold deep so a tiny bit of cobalt teal to green gold deep and you get beautiful juicy green with loads of granulation and pigment separation that you can't find anywhere so <laughs> i hope you found it very useful i know that some of you have been asking me about pigments reveals so i thought i will share it with you i forgot to say that these are available on my etsy aliona creates i will be closing my shop for the holidays tonight which is friday the 16th of december at midnight gmt so you still have about seven hours from the point of this video coming out uh, to place an order if you wish to do that otherwise my shop will be reopening on the 2nd of january so thank you for watching and i will see you soon